Maxon spindle drives are ball and lead screws in combination with planetary gearheads. This presentation shows you the main features of this kit for machines and automation solutions. On the market you can find fully equipped linear screw drive systems. Typically they are mounted on a metallic frame that consists of the linear guide, the screws with bearings and supports, some sort of slider mounted on the nut and a type of servo motor for driving. Some characteristic features. The force produced is limited by the torque of the motor. Theoretically, the linear force could be enhanced by a very low lead value of the screw. But in practice, lead values are limited by the ball size on ball screws and the threats of metric and trapezoidal screws. Achieving high forces requires the use of larger motors or of motor gearhead combinations. Often, such options are not available as a standard. As with many linear drives, there are dimensional restraints. Usually, you can get only certain predefined length. The slider and the body have shape and dimensions they have. Fitting such a standard screwdrive system in applications with limited space might not be that straightforward. Max and Spindle Drive offer a more compact and smaller yet powerful solution by integrating the screw with its bearing support into standard gearheads. Some important features of a screwdrive system are the bearings for radial and actual support of the screw. Keep in mind that they need to be able to take up all the actual force that is produced. Next, one needs a mounting structure for the motor or the gear motor and at last some sort of coupling is needed. By using a Maxon spindle drive you can avoid a lot of effort for bearing support and you can get rid of the coupling as well. This results in a considerably shorter solution of the mechanical support structure. All this is achieved by mounting the screw directly into the output stage of the gearhead, essentially replacing the gearhead output shaft with the screw and equip it with strong bearing that take up radial and axial loads. As already mentioned, the technical solution is based upon the integration of the spindle into the output planet carrier of standard planetary gearheads. This gives a large flexibility for finding matching solutions, because different gearhead reductions can be used. Even a direct coupling to the motor shaft is possible. This corresponds to a gearhead reduction of 1 to 1. Different motor types can be selected, together with a range of encoders for speed and position measurements. Special attention is paid in spindle drives to a proper support for the actual and radial forces on the screw. On larger diameters, it is external gearhead diameters 22 and higher, a special preloaded axial bearing assembly is used in addition to the reinforced radial bearings. Smaller spindle drives just exhibit specially selected and placed strong ball bearings. This is how a Maxon spindle drive GP32S looks like. Let's first have a look at the pre-assembled actual bearing system. It's placed between two radial bearings. The actual bearing assembly is very strong. It's never this bearing that limits the feed force capacity of the unit. The bearing assembly has a defined actual blade that is adjusted and fixed by laser welding. A minimum distance between the radial bearing is important to avoid wobbling of the screw. Screws can be divided into two main types, ball screws and lead screws. Ball screws are characterized by rolling balls separating the nut and the screw. It's very similar as on ball bearings and many concepts of ball bearings such as life calculations and behavior upon preloading apply as well. The rolling friction is low and results in a high efficiency. Ball screws are mainly used in applications that need dynamic motions with short and repeating operating cycles. Lead screws, on the other hand, are characterized by gliding friction between nut and screw. The efficiency is considerably lower compared to ball screws. The material pairing of nut and screw are of great importance. 
lead screws can be divided into trapezoidal screws, also called ACME screws, and metric screws with standard threads. Trapezoidal screws can take up higher forces than metric ones and are used for larger systems. Small screws are typically made with metric threads. Maxon offers an interesting alternative with metric screws, using zirconium oxide ceramic instead of steel for the screw. The particular properties of the ceramic surface show a much lower friction and wear, resulting in a higher efficiency and higher life expectancy. In summary, that's what we think is special about the Maxon spindle drives. They allow compact, precise and powerful solutions. The wide range of gearhead, gearhead reductions, motor types and possible feedback opens up the field for many applications. Together with the different spindle types, a flexible adaption to the application requirements is possible. Maxon spindle drives are a kit for machines and automation solutions. You get everything from one source, a real Maxon product, from the high load to the dynamic adjustment device, from the PLC down to the application. The Maxon spindle drive product range is to be enlarged in future. The focus is on smaller diameter products. That's it. Our tour through the Maxon spindle drive 